Hi, my name is David, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Flash Forward Avenger 3 to the Flash Forward Avenger 3 Lite. So the difference between the two models, you know, you could probably look at them and just think, you know, what is the difference? You know, why is one slightly cheaper than the other? And it's really hard to actually tell the difference, but there are two, actually three key things that potentially, um, you know, you'll find important when deciding whether to go for the Flash Forward Avenger 3, which I've got here, or the Flash Forward Avenger 3 Lite. So the Flash Forward Avenger printer itself, you know, is an amazing printer because it's an enclosed case, which both printers share. Um, it has a heated bed, which both printers have. Um, and it also has a compartment that the filament spool itself is stored in, which both printers have. So one key element that Flash Forward Avenger 3 has and the Flash Forward Avenger 3 Lite doesn't have is a filament reminder that tells you when your filament is running out. So that it might seem like, well, it needs to have that because how else am I going to know that the filament is running out? Well, for some reason, they've removed that feature, which helps to potentially make the Flash Forward Avenger 3 slightly cheaper. But um, it means that now you actually have to be watching your print to make sure that you've got enough filament to actually print it or just be checking that it hasn't run out. The second feature that the Flash Forward Avenger 3 lights doesn't have, but the Flash Forward Avenger 3 does have, is a remote camera. So what you find is that the Flash Forward Avenger 3 within the actual enclosure itself has a camera which you could potentially be watching on your phone or on the internet via the cloud and actually could record what you're printing or just monitor what you're printing potentially. Whereas the Flash Forward Avenger 3 Lite it doesn't have this feature, which, you know, it's not the end of the world. Most people use their own, you know, external cameras anyways to record um, their 3D print printing. But what you'll find is that's what they've done to actually make the Flash Forward Adventure Lite cheaper so that, um, you know, it's more affordable to people or beginners getting into 3D printing. And the last point, which is, I don't think it's a big deal, but the actual amount of filament that they provide you within the box is slightly less. So you get a 50 gram um, weight of filament when you buy the Flash Forward Adventure 3 Lite, but when you buy the Flash Forward Adventure 3, you get a 250 gram um, free filament in the box. So you're probably wondering, David, just tell us, how much does it actually cost? So the Flash Forward Adventure 3 Lite costs £329, whereas the Flash Forward Adventure 3 costs £365. You can potentially find a Flash Forward Adventure 3 cheaper uh, because it was out longer, um, sometimes for £350 or less used potentially. But Flash Forge have released uh, a new printer, which is the Flash Forge Adventure 3 4. So definitely check out my previous video on this printer. But also when you look at the lineup, of, you know, the products itself in terms of how much they cost, you've got the Flash Forge Adventure 3 Lite, which is £329, the Flash Forge Adventure 3, which is £365, and the Flash Forge Adventure 4, which is £550. And you can slowly see that, well, if you're a beginner, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be hair, you should be more hair potentially just getting into free printer because I feel like that price range £329 hovers around what I call the golden zone for beginners when it comes to 3D printing in terms of cash basically. Um, and you kind of want your printer to be around that £300 mark when you're going into it because then you're not kind of putting too much money into it but you can save up for it, you know. Um, and if you decide not to go into 3D printing, you haven't spent a ton of money. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more content on 3D printing and tech and more.